History of PlayStation You have most probably played PlayStation once in your life. It is one of the most widely used and popular gaming consoles in the world, which made Sony the market leader in the gaming console space. Now, Sony released the first PlayStation back in the year 1994, which became the first video gaming console to sell more than 100 million units. However, have you ever thought about how Sony managed to become so successful with its first foray into the video gaming market? Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, and in today's video, we are going to discuss the history of PlayStation. We will discuss how this amazing system was created and how it became so successful, so make sure you watch this video till the end. However, before we start, Make sure you subscribe to this channel and don't forget to hit that bell icon so you never miss any updates. Now, without further ado, let's take a closer look at the success story of PlayStation. History The history of PlayStation dates back to the year 1988, when Sony and Nintendo were working together on a joint project to create a CD-ROM for the Super Famicom, which was a popular game console at that time. Let me tell you that this amazing video game console is the brainchild of a Sony executive who managed one of the hardware engineering divisions of Sony. We are talking about Ken Kutaragi, which is also known as the father of the PlayStation. Three years later, Sony revealed a Super Famicom, which featured the built-in CD-ROM. The company revealed this product in 1991 at the Consumer Electronics Show. Here, it is worth mentioning that it incorporated Green Book tech known as PlayStation. However, things quickly changed when Nintendo decided to break its partnership with Sony. On the very next day, after Sony revealed the new Super Famicom, Nintendo announced that it would now be working with Philips to complete the project. As a result, Norio Oga, who was president of Sony at that time, decided to create PlayStation since he wanted to compete against Nintendo. He appointed Kutaragi to develop the PS project. We can surely say PlayStation is the result of a competition between two companies. During this whole time, Nintendo was offering Sony a non-gaming part in this project. However, Ken rejected the proposal, and the negotiations between both companies officially ended in May 1992. Later, Ken revealed a gaming system based on CD-ROM at a company meeting. This system involved playing games with 3D graphics. Although Olga was planning to terminate this project, Ken was able to convince him to complete the project by reminding him of the humiliation he had to suffer from their rival Nintendo. Here, you might want to note that most Sony executives opposed this project, and Ken even had to shift his team from the company's headquarters to Sony Music. Then, the CEO of Sony Music, Shigeyu Maruyama, helped Ken to form Sony Computer Entertainment Incorporated, which was eventually established in November 1993. The next year, the company demonstrated its distribution plan as well as tech demos of the brand new video game console to developers and game publishers in Tokyo. As a result, Numerous developers approached the company and the original PlayStation was launched in Japan by December of that year. It was a massive success and went on to become the first ever game console to sell over a hundred million units. The next year, Sony ruled it out in North America. Now, let me tell you that PlayStation was becoming increasingly popular because of its superior launch titles and relative cheapness as compared to the rival product, Sega Saturn. During that time, PlayStation was competing against Nintendo 64 and Sega Saturn. It featured a dual-speed CD-ROM drive, 2 megabytes of RAM, 1 megabyte of video RAM, and a 1-core CPU. However, it didn't have any internal hard drive, and Sony also didn't ship it with a DualShock controller. In fact, Sony rolled out its first DualShock controller in 1997. Following the massive success of the original PlayStation, Sony released the PlayStation 1 or PS1 in July 2000. It was a smaller unit, featuring a redesigned chassis and an updated graphical user interface. By the end of 2003, 
the company had sold more than 102 million units of PlayStation and PS1. Let me also tell you that the PlayStation 2 was concurrently released with PS1. It is part of the sixth generation of video game consoles, and it is the most successful video game console on this planet. It is worth mentioning that more than 155 million units of PlayStation 2 were sold by the end of 2012. And then, in January 2013, the company reportedly ended the production of PlayStation 2. Four years after Sony launched PlayStation 2, it rolled out the PlayStation 2 Slimline model in 2004. It was smaller, thinner, made less noise, and featured a built-in Ethernet port. The company went on to release two more revisions of Slimline in 2007 and 2008. And in 2006, it had released the PS3, which is a 7th generation video game console. Now, this product competed against the Nintendo Wii and the Microsoft Xbox 360. The PS3 was the first video game console in the PS series to come with motion sensing technology. Although it originally came with a 20 gigabyte or 60 gigabyte hard drive, the company later increased the capacity to up to 500 gigabytes. Let me tell you that the PS3 sold more than 80 million units by the end of 2013. Like the PS2, this model was also re-released as a slim model in 2009, and Sony went on to launch the Super Slim PS3 in 2012, which featured an entirely redesigned case. In February 2013, Sony announced the PS4, which was released in North America in November of that year. It was, again, a massive success since Sony sold 1 million units of the PS4 within the first day. This makes the PS4 the fastest selling console in a one day period. This model came with the ability to upload as well as share gameplay clips. Competing against the Microsoft Xbox One and Nintendo Wii U, it featured an 8 core AMD x86 64 Jaguar CPU with 8 gigabytes of GDDR R5 memory. Sony also released the PS4 Slim over the next years. And in 2016, it launched the PS4 Pro, which came with upgraded features. Last year, we saw the successful release of the newest PS5, which was released alongside Xbox Series X and Series S. All of these video game consoles were released in November 2020. The latest model comes with a revamped user interface and is powered by a custom 8-core AMD Zen 2 CPU. Final Thoughts that's all for today's video, and thanks for watching this video. I hope you liked it. If you liked it, make sure to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Also, tell us in the comments below what you learned from the history of PlayStation. Lastly, if you have not already subscribed to this channel, subscribe to it, and if you want to watch more videos like this, press that bell button so you will be notified each time I upload an interesting video to this channel. We will see you in the next video. Bye!